What's up, YouTube? It is Mr. Ferguson here. Thank you guys for coming back here to Central North Carolina where our protein is really kicking in. And uh, as you guys can see, we've got the dense shade mix with some GCI turf mixed here. We've got GCI spreader elite here in my backyard. We've got some uh, Jonathan Green down here on the edge because we're gonna be getting some of our foliage, our leaves coming in soon. But man, that protein we put down several weeks back, it has definitely been watered in. We've had water the last couple days. We've had cooler temperatures, but man, the green up, you can tell between Mr. Uh, Brandon Chard over there and mine, the green up is in full effect right now. Uh, we did put around a full pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet with the protein. Um, remember, you can find protein at GCITurf.com or GCI Academy. If you Google that, you will find the website. It is a product I've only seen advertised from GCI from Pete over there in Reedsville, North Carolina. But so far, I'm happy with it. We're getting growth out of our blades. Uh, we still have some dormancy. We still have some frost. We're expecting lows in the 20s here in, in North Carolina uh, one night in the weekend, I believe. So we're still having cool days. Today is in the 40s as well. But just wanted to update you that we do have some green up for sure from the protein. And so we'll be watching it and we'll be reviewing it as we go on. But so far, looking great. Almost time for another mo. So with that said, just want to update you on the protein. And uh, let's get into the video. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Central North Carolina. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button below. If you're interested in DIY, uh, lawn care, and content, it is totally free to you guys. I thank you so much for those that continue to support the channel and come back. Today, I wanna go ahead and dive into the video. I'm making this on Thursday. We're gonna be up in my in-laws in Virginia this weekend. So I wanna go ahead and get this Monday video prepared and out to you. And I wanna kinda basically do another video of the same sort. We did a very successful video a couple videos back about spring. And I basically told you guys, I make this video every year and I probably will every year. And I wanna reiterate and continue to talk about this because even off camera, um, I'm getting random people, hey, Mr. Ferguson, you know, what about my yard? I'm ready to get my yard looking right like yours. You know, can you come and help me and do this? And hey, I'm, and, and you know, my dad, he's like, hey, this is where you can make some money. And he's absolutely right. But as we've talked about here on the channel, spring is not when we want to do these things. I want to continue to reiterate these things to the new beginners out there that are likely going to stop by these grass channels. And I don't know if they'll hear this from people or not, but if they stop by Mr. Ferguson's channel, I'm I'm always re going to relay to people the best thing that I know, which is exactly what I had to do back in 2019. And that is when you get out here and it's 80 degrees and everybody's coming up to me because they see my yard, they see the protein in full effect. The grass is looking awesome. I just saw a couple today uh, out the window staring. He stopped and was just looking at the grass and was like, wow, like he was blown away at the color the protein is providing to it. Him and his wife walking down the street, things like that. I've already got one person saying, hey, can you come to my house and help me? And definitely I tell them the same thing I tell everybody here on YouTube, spring is not the time that you want to do this. I use the example in a previous video we had our neighbors before they moved over here um, they put up a soccer goal they cleared out some trees over here on their property and they planted some grass probably a scotch product if i had to guess and it grew and it looked awesome and guess what it's completely gone now there's a few little clumps of it maybe over there but i'm looking right now and, and, and it is completely gone why because they planted it right around this time of the month uh mid-march and the sun of north carolina wiped it out the roots did never had a chance to fully develop in the dirt. They never had a chance to get deep and the, the sun just withered it away and it, and it wiped it away. And that is why I'm warning you before you go to Lowe's, when you walk out of your house and it's 75, 80 degrees and you're like, man, that, that there's something in the air, as I've described previously, that bites us and is like, I'm ready to get to work. I'm ready to get out my lawn, make it look awesome. Maybe you just bought a new house. Maybe you, uh, um, you know, a lot of people have been moving from the north down here to North Carolina. And uh, maybe you're like, hey, I'm ready to get out here and work. Well, and you have to do what Mr. Ferguson did. I would caution you, my advice would be to hold that money that you got, put it away, set it aside, and continue to grow that budget and save it for the fall. Remember, 
if you've got a lawn that's already in existence and you've not just bought a new house, you've had a lawn and you're like, okay, I've been behind. What have I missed? It's time to work on the lawn. Er, hold your brakes. Number one, you want to have a pre-emergent down right now. Well, if we have pre-emergent down in our lawn, then we don't want to aerate and definitely we want to loosen compaction before I always will always mechanically aerate before I plant seed. That's just something that I found makes a huge difference. I want to break up the compaction of your dirt. Compaction, the seed can't get the root in if the ground is so hard we need to aerate if you didn't aerate in fall you're looking to aerate in the spring remember that in the spring when we aerate we're not going into cooler temperatures we're moving into warm temperatures when you begin to open up the earth and the ground with an aerator in the springtime you're 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 exposing yourself to weeds unnecessarily is the best way i can say it we saw an example of this i always go back to this i'll never forget it of pete Pete was dealing, uh, or digging something for his well or repairing his well, I can't remember, and he needed to lay PVC pipe. He dug a line with a trench and, uh, and everywhere in the following year, everywhere where he had dug that trench, Poa annua popped up because he exposed the dirt. He was digging in the dirt in the warm time of the season, and that's where the weeds just, the, the seeds get loosened up and they begin to germinate. So if you go and get an aerator, if you go and try to do these things in spring, you're going to expose your ground. You're going to open it up and weed seeds will germinate and you'll have weeds all over the place. And it then will be likely too late for your pre-emergent. If you've already put down pre-emergent in your lawn, think about it. If you run an aerator over it, you're, ex you're just tearing up that barrier that you lay down in your lawn. So what is the purpose? You've just wasted all of that prodiamine, all that money you spent on the prodiamine. Um, now, if you open up the earth, plant your seed, then put down pre-emergent, well, guess what? The pre-emergent is supposed to stop anything from coming up. So if you seed, it's not going to grow. So I hope that makes sense. So the spring is just not the time to do it. And that's why ultimately I would tell you, save that money take what you got if it's a terrible yard you got you can live with it another six seven months um, if you've got a decent yard take some weed and feed go to lowe's go to home depot go to ace hardware buy you a bag of weed and feed apply it accordingly to your lawn kill some of the weeds that is existing on top of the lawn right now green up the grass that you have mow it take care of it and and do the best you can this is exactly if you go back in the content of my videos this is exactly what i did there was a that period of time i don't know if i made many videos then but for eight months i did nothing but just make do with what i had i had a backyard full of poa annua go back and watch those videos my whole backyard was poa annua and then it died off in may and it looked like my whole yard died off because i had about 10 percent fescue and 90 percent weeds back here i did a full renovation back here and now we have beautiful turf type tall fescue seed because i did it in the fall time the fall is when we want to rent our mechanical aerator and aerate our lawn throw our seed down do our starter fertilizer give it the whole winter months of, of November, you know, October, November, uh, December, January, February, that's all these months, our grass is beginning to grow roots. Even though we're cold and we, we're inside, we got the fire on, our grass is developing roots over these winter times. Now growth slows down, but growth never really stops completely, it slows. So it is growing roots in these times. And so by the time spring comes, we've, we're way ahead of anybody that tries to then throw down new fresh seed in the springtime. They've got to develop those roots so fast before the sun comes and kills it. That's why I say, please don't waste your money. I'm trying to look out for those that may be new to lawn care. And these are the things I had to learn. Get on a lawn care plan. Um, I suggest Alan Hain, the lawn care nut. I've been on his plan. It's worked great for me. I suggest Pete Denny. You can find him on his website. I don't get paid any of that money. So I don't, <laughs> I'm just mentioning them because I know they've helped me tremendously. I wouldn't be here making videos or documenting my lawn looking as great as it is without the help of these gentlemen. So we're at about seven minutes and this will be a quicker video because I hate talking head videos. But for those, if you've got a buddy that's like, hey man, come help me here. You need to watch this video from Mr. Ferguson. He'll explain it to you. If you're following a lawn care plan, you should already have your pre-emergent down and we're going to do another app. If you're doing split apps like myself, we're waiting right before we get to the 70 degree mark in our soil to do our second pre-emergent app of prodiamine. We've now put down our protein, which is a 90 day feeding of my lawn. So that is in place since March 1st. I've also already done a soil test. I've checked my pH. My pH is a 6.5, 6.8. Uh, we'll, you saw that video on Friday. Go check it out. 
or we compared two different soil tests. You need to be doing a soil test if you've not done it. Where does my dirt lie right now? Where is my iron levels? Where's my nitrogen levels and my phosphorus and my potassium? You know, where's my pH most importantly? We can't sustain or have a good looking lawn without a decent pH number. So definitely wanna check and see what that is. You can also use your local extension uh, if in your area that may test your dirt for free for you if you don't wanna buy a soil test online and mail it in. So. Uh, soil test, pre-emergent, feeding our lawn this time of year. That's where we are if you plant it in, in the fall and aerate it in the fall. If you didn't and you're late to the game, my best advice to wrap this up would be to hold your money, plan on, uh, start saving and putting money in that budget for the fall time. If you're looking at your neighbor's yard, your buddy's yard, one of these very nice looking lawns in your neighborhood, likely they planted their cool season turf in the fall when we're supposed to, and they've got that root system developed in their grass already. So that is my advice to you. So when these people that are literally coming to me off camera and saying, hey, Mr. Ferguson, come help me, though I could say sure, and take their 500 bucks or whatever and go and help them with their lawn, really I would be wasting their money because it's a fat chance that that grass is gonna make it through the the brutal North Carolina 90, sustained 90 degree heat that we get in May, June, July, August, sometimes even into September. Um, so that would be mean and that's not what I wanna do. I wanna help people succeed. So I hope that makes sense. I hate to reiterate another video that we've kinda hit on all of these topics. We've been doing spring lawn care tips here lately. Check out the last three, four, five videos here on the channel if you wanna learn more about how to maintain what you have, mowing height, um, how we want to uh, sharpen our blades, all the mowing tips and tips of spring that we need to have for the lawn that you have right now. So thank you guys for watching this Monday video. Again, I don't know if I mentioned it on this one because it's the second time I'm filming it, but we are uh, out of town uh, this past weekend and won't be able to do anything in the lawn and it's kind of dreary and rainy and wet today. So I hope this helps out those that are getting that spring bug, that are starting to wake up to, hey, it's time for spring, it's time to plant my yard. Hold your horses, save your money, let's sustain what you have and let's do this in the fall when, when it's uh, the appropriate time to do it. God bless you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by the Mr. Ferguson channel once again. We will see you on Wednesday with a midweek quickie video. And thank you so much for watching. As I just said, God bless. Have a great one.